This is Ray Cornelius of Upfront inside Atlanta's entertainment industry, and we're coming to you live from the black carpet premiere of Superfly. We'll be talking to all of the stars and give you an inside look of what is to be one of the most talked about films of 2018. And Dirk, congratulations on your role in Superfly. Tell us a little bit about your character. Uh, Officer Turk Franklin. Um, he's not a nice guy. I can't tell you much, but uh, I'm the cop. <laughs> And I'm not nice, but uh, uh, yeah, these are these are always tricky. You can't say too much. So, but it's uh, it's high octane. Now, were you a fan of the original film? When I watched it, yeah. I mean, I watched Shaft and all that stuff, Dolomite back in the day, and, and Superfly went by me. Um, obviously, I'd heard the soundtrack, um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's just uh, it's Superfly, man. The whole thing, it's cool. The way it happened, the way I'm here, it's uh, it's really cool. Now, what was it like uh, working with Director X? Uh, really cool. He, he's kind of a director that lets the actor do his thing, and then if you can't get there, he'll kind of feed you there. Um, but, but he kind of left me alone and let me do my thing, um, which, is, which is nice. That's kind of how you get the approval. If the director doesn't say anything to you, you're doing it right. So, joy to work with. Great guy. Thank you so, so much. So we're talking to Bank, man. Congratulations. Let's talk about your character, Q Monroe. Is that it? Yeah. QV Monroe, that's me. It's me in real life. Okay. <laughs> nah. Uh, well, I run a, run a crew called the Snow Patrol, you know what I'm saying? And we play opposite of uh, Priest, which is Trevor standing next to me. We play opposite of him. It's like we just we just got some beef. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the money, beef about the money. And I got little hotheads on my team that just want to get into it with Priest for no reason. I don't know why, but it's about to be a good movie, though. <laughs> now, how did this project come to you? Uh, well, 21 Savage. That's a uh, close friend of mine. He's, he was originally uh, drafted to play the role Juju. So he called, he called me and he called um, Joel Silver and X and told them that I would be the perfect person to play Q. Like I originally was supposed to just only have 15, 20 minutes in the movie, but they stretched it out. So I guess I did good. <laughs> let's talk about the pace of the film, because I think you guys shot this in like two weeks, right? Three weeks? It didn't happen like this. <laughs> no, we, 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 we finished. On March 6th, I think, we wrapped on March 6th. It's coming out June 13th. And we in shoot for 36 days. So this is the fastest turnaround I've ever seen in a movie. Congratulations, and thank you so much. Thank you. Respect, man. So congratulations to you, big boy. You're actually playing Mayor Atkins in the film. So tell us a little bit about him. Uh, mayor Atkins is the freaky, corrupt mayor of Atlanta. And we take pride in that. Um, we didn't campaign on that, but, I mean, it's, it's a, he's, he's a cool guy. How did you get involved with the project? Um, the director right here, my hey, guy. I'm good, man. You know they 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 hoot and holler every time they see you. Bro. Well, oh, man. everywhere hey, around the world, come man, on, they man. see your face, they get excited. Come on, man. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you know we just had to entertain. You know what I mean? For sure. So, director X asked you to be a part of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he wanted to be my man. It's like absolutely. Now, were you a fan of the original film? Yeah, absolutely, man, man. From my dad to my uncles playing Superfly to Mac, Dolomite. Like, we grew up on it, you know what I mean? And for us to, you know, reimagine or re remake a classic, remix, actually. I miss mean, dope, present day. All right, so first of all, congratulations, man. So last year, we talked at the uh, BMI Awards, and here it is, fast forward a year later, and you're a part of probably one of the what's going to be one of the most talked about films of 2018. So how did you get involved with this film? Well, first and, for, first and foremost, God gives all praise and glory. He didn't want to write my story every single day. You know what I mean? You know, it's, 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 it's just that. But I think um, um, my agent, Susan, she hit me. She said it's a great opportunity uh, with Superfly. Uh, they're putting together a great, talented cast of actors that are like, on the way, you know what I mean, to where they're going. Like, you know, Jason, you got like Trevor. It's like, these, this is like, to me, it's like belly of this generation. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because I was out with, you know, when belly was, you know what I'm saying, was that thing. So I think it's just, it, it was a really great experience, man. It really was, man. And just seeing it all come together, me from the music side, I'm used to making a song and then I make the song and I can hear it that night. And this is a process, bro. It's like, okay, you do your part and then that's it. You gotta like, Wait and see how it all turned out and turned together. And it's like, man, it's the, the process is just incredible, man. I'm just 
I'm just in awe of it, and I'm in awe of God what he can able to do. Because the first shall be last and the last shall be first, you know what I'm saying? I just, my desire is always to inspire, you know what I'm saying? And and I just think, like, you know, that's just, it's just a blessing, you know? And I was in Atlanta, too. I don't know if you've seen, I was in Atlanta. Uh, I got a, a scene with Donald Glover in episode 203, Money Bag Shawty in the new Atlanta series, too. I'm in that John, too. So I got a few things coming, man. You know what I'm Congratulations. Thank you, bro. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you keep rocking with me, though, bro, for real. I appreciate you, bro. Ray Chaney, you're just coming off of an explosive season of Saints and Sinners, which blew us all away. And I think you guys had like over seven, was it like seven million? Five million viewers, man. That's crazy. Third season. I enjoy playing Kendrick, man. You know, this third season was crazy, you know. I mean, just being around legendary actors and actresses such as Vanessa Bell Calloway, Clifton Powell. I had a good time this season. I'm, I'm praying for the fourth season, so we got to hit up Bounce TV for that, you know? Yeah. So you're here tonight at the uh, premiere of Superfly. Who are you looking forward to seeing perform tonight? Man, you know what? My homeboy, Michael K. Williams, Omar from the Wire, that's my brother. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always supporting him. Of course, Lil X, man, you know what I'm saying? Just being a fan of all of his videos and Jason Mitchell, you know what I'm saying, from the Shy and in, in, in the NWA story, man. I'm I'm happy to see everybody, you know what I'm saying? Trevor Jackson, man, I'm really, I'm just excited about the whole film. And then I heard Future did like the whole soundtrack, so that's dope. And he's also one of the, the producers of the film. Yeah, yeah. So, so let me ask, were you a, a fan of the original film? Yeah, I was. I was, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm. I mean, just to be here and to see how this came out, I'm. 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 Re I'm very interested in seeing how this came out because, of course, the old one. You know, the fly clothes, the cars, all of the action that was taking place. I'm just. I'm excited to see the new age version. You know. Now the soundtrack has some very big names: Miguel, Lil Wayne, Her. So many folks are on that soundtrack. So, is there? Is, have you have you had an opportunity to hear a little bit of it? Nah, man, I'm actually going to download it. You know, what I'm saying tonight. <laughs> if it's out tonight, I'm gonna download it tonight because I'm a fan of everybody you just named. So, yeah. Well, congratulations on Saints and Sinners, and enjoy tonight's uh, film. All right, so I gotta ask you. This film is uh, was shot here in Atlanta. It was originally shot in Harlem. So, what do you make? What do you think makes Atlanta that that major factor that they shot it here? I mean, I mean, you here. <laughs> I'm still living here. I can't go nowhere. I just feel like ATL got the sauce. You know what I'm saying? You can't really shoot it nowhere else because they ain't really super fly, baby. You got to come down here where the sauce at. We taking over the music. We, we taking over the acting. We just taking over. We got the best script clubs in America, man. Everywhere you want. Just everywhere. I love it. I love, see what I'm saying? How you doing? What are you like? looking um, forward to seeing in the film? I ain't going to lie. I want to see Bank do it, thing. I want, I want to see the OG really do his thing because at, at a point in time, east side, west side, niggas went, went, we weren't friends for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And I like where it's going now, where it's like Atlanta is sticking together. It don't matter what side you're from, east side, west side, south side, north side. I didn't even know we had a north side. They was, I didn't know. And, and it's coming together. And it's just like, you know what? I as you can say, I got friends on the east side. And I'm west side. Be Everybody know what's happening with me. But it's just like, it's just fun to see people from Atlanta make it, not just because of what side you're from, it's because you're from Atlanta. So Portia, I gotta ask, are you a fan of Superfly? Have you ever even seen the original? I haven't seen the original. You're like the fifth person to ask me. I wish I had watched it before I got here. Have you seen any black exploitation films, like maybe Coffee or Cleopatra Jones? I've seen some Coffee, yes, I have. <laughs> So I want to ask, who are you looking forward to seeing in the film? There's so many uh, amazing, talented stars, uh, Trevor Jackson, Jason Mitchell. So who are you looking forward to see in the film? Well, Trevor Jackson is, Jackson is one that, you know, I immediately went on social media, looked him up, I Googled him. You know, I just wanted to see some of his other films. Um, and he's very versatile. So I'm really interested to see him play this gangster role. I don't think in his past he's played anything similar to this before. Um, but from the preview, he bodied it. So I am looking forward to that and the fashion. Now, are we going to be seeing you on the big screen anytime soon? Because I, you've got the acting bug. Yeah, yeah I so I definitely do. Um, I do have a couple projects coming up that I'm really excited about. You know, you, we can never talk about anything while it's in the works, but um, hopefully very soon.
Yeah. And again, everyone's asked, uh, you know, Atlanta is the backdrop for this film. It was originally shot in Harlem. So why do you think they chose Atlanta this time around? I mean, Atlanta is lit. I mean, come on, let's be honest. We have been, you know, we're having our time right now. You have Atlanta, the the uh, series that's here right now. It's all about Atlanta. Atlanta is it. So, you know, I think that production is realizing that um, production costs are down. <laughs> and we have a lot of talent here as well. So I think it's a great place. Thanks so much. Uh -huh. So, Frank C., I got to ask you, when you heard that they were doing this remake, what, what went through your mind? Well, the first thing is that I wanted to know, like, how they were going to put it together. Like, how they were going to take from the old one, you know, and then bring it to modern day. And I think they did a good job of doing it. Yeah. So I got to ask you about the music piece. This is being curated by Future. Zaytoven is also all over this. Yeah. You've got Miguel and Lil Wayne. So have you had an opportunity to hear the music? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the thing is, you know, at the uh, BMI Music Awards, of course, Future was the big winner. I mean, he's the writer. He's the writer of the year. So why not have him score the music? It's perfect. So why Atlanta? It was in Harlem back in 1972. Why do you think they brought it here? Because in 1972, Harlem was the epicenter of what blackness was all about. But now... In 2018, Atlanta is what it's all about. So why not be in Atlanta? Thanks so much, Frank Ski. I appreciate it. All right. Yeah, how are you? I'm great, and I'm so excited to be here. I have heard a lot of really good things about this film, and I'm excited about this good remake. <laughs> now, were you a fan of the original? Absolutely. I mean, black exploitation films, they were really the foundation for a lot of films that we watch today. So I'm really excited about it and see the continuation of how it goes. Who are you looking forward to seeing in the film? Like, like, is there a certain... We have a friend in this film, so I'm even more excited. So I have a friend, Terrell. Hey, Terrell! And I'm here to support him, and I love his work, and he's really grown as an actor, and can't wait to see what he does with his work. So we're here with DJ Fadelf. Gotta ask you, have you had an opportunity to listen to the soundtrack of this film? So I have. It's actually done pretty awesome. And then I say pretty awesome, meaning I was surprised when I heard Future was doing the entire thing. Not that he's not a greater artist, but I didn't know he got behind the production of it all like that. And it's very, very intricate. Um, it's detailed and it has a lot of, I want to say, not the average Southern production to it. So you'll be very pleasantly surprised when you, when you listen to it. That's actually what I came to see most of, to be honest with you. Definitely. Now you're constantly spinning music, so were you a fan of the original soundtrack of the film? I was. I, I still have it. So I still play it, to tell you the truth. You know, DJing like worldwide, that's the great part about it, that you get to play everything. And yeah, I still dabble into it, so definitely. Who are you looking forward to seeing perform on the big screen tonight? Um, I got to say Mr. Jackson, definitely. Um, but the whole cast, to be honest with you, I want to see how they brought this to the modern day age. You know, so, yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah, appreciate you, bro. Good seeing you. Now, we've just heard from some of our favorite stars here on the black carpet, but now we're about to talk to the film stars, Trevor Jackson, Jason Mitchell, and Director X. You literally could have taken any kid off the corner, but you chose me. Why? These fools in the streets acting like they got something to prove. They only want to hustle for the money and the flash. But not you. You're special. Welcome to Atlanta. You've got everything you could ever want. Culture, style, and of course, music. But if you look deeper, there's a whole other side you've never seen before. Freeze! Welcome to my world. I've been working these streets since I was 11. Gave people jobs when there were no jobs. I swapped cash for crypto and redefined the hustle. I choose my crew wisely. Scatter, that's my mentor. I know that you miss your favorite student. I miss kicking your ass. Georgia, she's my inspiration. You can be whatever you want to be. And Eddie, that's my soul. Everything is moving smooth like butter. Appreciate sure you, genius. You've been operating under the radar. All of that's about to change. Call an ambulance, you take it to the hospital. You know there's a difference between getting out and being pushed out. This new crew, 
They have cartel connections. And they're coming after everything we have and everyone we love. What's the play here? One last score is so big that we will never have to look over our shoulder again. But we have to go to the source. If we do this, there's no going back. Never was. I know who you are, priest. Abandon our business? That's unacceptable. I promise I'm gonna take care of you. We stick to the plan. What plan? We black men ain't nowhere safe. Come on, let's take a drive. Well, welcome to a special edition of Upfront. We're featuring the actors of Superfly, and I'm so happy to have you guys here. We're talking to Trevor Jackson, Jason Mitchell, and of course, Director X. Guys, congratulations. Thank uh, you, man. Got Thank a chance you. to see the film last night, and uh, bravo. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Yeah, much. There was so much electricity in the air, and uh, really excited about this film. I think everyone is going to be talking about this all summer. But let's start from the very beginning. Let's start with you, Director X. How did you get involved with this project? Because this is like your, your fourth film, correct? Um, it's my first studio picture. Okay. And, uh, I've done some independent, some TV movies before that. But, uh, you know, Silver Pictures, Joel Silver, those guys came to me, and they said they, you know, they had Superfly. They had a script for Superfly, rights to Superfly. So I read the script. It was nothing like Superfly. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, the first script that they sent me actually had Priest trying to get deeper in the game. He wanted to expand. Like, it was just for, not Superfly. And I read it. I'm like, yo, this ain't Superfly. And they said, all right, well, what do you want to do? And I told them I wanted to make something based in the original film. I wanted to really be true to the source material and put our faith that there was a reason it was a hit yeah. in that. So um, this movie, when you, when you watch the original film and you watch this film, all those characters come back, the major characters are there, the major story points we hit, but we also have expanded this out into uh, a much bigger uh, thing. There's new, some new characters show up, and, all, and even those new people that show up come out of a logic of uh, how to modernize this thing. Now, were you at all nervous? Because we're talking about an iconic film, 1972, Ron O'Neill, the soundtrack was amazing. Was there ever any pressure to be like, oh my God, I gotta make this we got to make this work. We got to make it. No, well, work. I mean, on one level, no. I was I put, really put my faith in uh, the fact that we were going to make a true honest remake. We we're going to really um, be true to the original movie and 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 let that be the factor. I I'd, I'd rather this movie uh, uh, sink or swim based on those merits uh, rather than me changing things and thinking I know better and then it go mm -hmm. left, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. uh, I just did that. So there's a, a lot of these things there's some controversial I don't say controversial, but there's some stuff that happens in this movie that people go, oh, that was great when you did that thing. It's from the original. <laughs> you know right. He yeah. had this happen and that happened and that happened and we had to do those things. And it really gives you a lot of crazy twists and turns. You really don't know what's happening next yeah. in this movie. Yeah. Now we love the fact that you guys uh, shot this here and it's focused on Atlanta. So whose decision was that to make, make the, put the spotlight that, that on Atlanta? That call had been made when I got the call, uh, Joel, had decided he wanted this to take place in Atlanta. He was shooting nice guys out here and really loved the city and the energy and decided that uh, Superfly should happen here. Let's talk about the casting process. Of course, you have some amazing actors here. Did you have any input on who you wanted to play, Priest or Eddie? Definitely. I mean, this was a bit, we auditioned a lot of people, spoke to a lot of, it was, it was a long process and we saw everybody, but these guys came in and really just shined. You know, they, they brought something to each role that really, um, made something special. I mean, this is this was a process, not just me and Joel, all the way up to the top yeah. of Sony food chain. Yeah. Right. The chairman was weighing <laughs> right. in on this stuff. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is they they did not they they took this real serious about who they're going to bring in, and we found this the mix just happened really well. So I'm happy with how this came together. So guys, how did you feel when you when you found out that you got the role and you were going to be playing these iconic characters? Uh, I was flipping out for sure. I I really wanted it when I found out they were even making it. I was like, I want to be a part of this auditioned twice and they were they still were it wasn't like for sure or not and they're like you might be too young we're still just trying to figure out we're looking at more people and i just kept begging my agents i was like hit them up again hit them up again hit them up again what are you saying uh and then joe silver invited me to his house and i'm thinking i'm uh you know gonna read the script again i got my script next to me he walks out on his ipad doesn't even look up and he's like so you want to do this movie with us i was like uh yeah 
I was like, okay, you're the guy. I just wanted to see you face to face, see you in person. We'll work on our deal. Get the hell out of here. I'll get work on your deal when you get out. And uh, so then I like drove home crying, like, what the heck? It's just happened. Right. But I was totally cool when he told me. I was like, oh, sick. Awesome. So, <laughs> what you guys are playing, you know? I really need to make sure. That, <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool when he told me. We got in the car. He go cry in the car. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. For me, it was, it was just like, I think I was shocked more than anything. You know what I mean? Because when you think Superfly and you think a remake, like, this is heavy material. You know what I mean? So for somebody to be sitting back and be like, what if we call Jason Mitchell? I'm like, <laughs> I'm on it. You know what I mean? Like, honestly. And it also makes me feel good that we, we could make movies like I grew up on. You know what I mean? And we can give the kids a real fun movie to have for the summer. You know what I mean? Not just the kids, but everybody. They're going to love it. <laughs> I think so, too. I, now, I'm going to say, I, I was a little... I was when they mentioned your name that you were in the lead role. I was like, God, this guy is so young. Mm -hmm. But when I saw this image and they released it in, in the, the change of the hair and everything, I was like, okay. And then seeing the film, I was blown away. Thank I you, was man. really, 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 really impressed. I, I, I did not see a young Trevor Jackson. I saw this guy who had experienced a lot, who had been through a lot, and was ready to move to the next level of his life, leaving the past behind yeah. and moving forward. I didn't see. Grownish, or I didn't see, you know, Burning Sands. I saw Priest. Thank you, man. Yeah, That's all so. I was aiming for. That means a lot. Appreciate Let's it. talk about the brotherhood between you guys because yeah. you're, you're comic relief. I didn't know you were so funny. <laughs> and to me, this role as, you know, Eddie is like that guy. It's like everybody wants to have an Eddie in their corner. Right. Yeah. So let's talk about your brotherhood in the film. Um, our brotherhood is really something special because it's something that's on camera as well as off camera. And we wanted that to stick in the film as much as we could, you know, because yeah. it's important to find, like, the humor in life. Like, not everything I was saying was a joke, but it's still funny because you got to find the humor in life. And um, it, it came out beautifully, you know, because I was more of the, the, you know, I'm the smaller guy, so I got to be like the hothead in the, the Napoleon complex, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> just just on my shoulders. And, um, you know, X, X knows I love the improv, so he was giving us a little space wherever he could, yeah. you know what I mean, to yeah. go ahead and cut the fool. And um, it, it came out nice. It came yeah, out nice. It's easy to work with somebody that you're actually, actually love and are cool with. Yeah. It just it doesn't feel like work. You just get to, like, do what we do when they yell cut. <laughs> right. just, just joke around and <laughs> chill. So uh, I feel like, that, like he said, it really came across on screen, and people really love that bond and that relationship because it's real. And I don't want to give too much away, but the, the uh, gun gallery or shooting gallery scene, I loved it. Oh, it was yeah. just, I mean, it was at that point where it was like, yeah, these guys have known each other forever. Yeah, yes. Ever, right. You know, they may get mad, but they still, you know, yeah, right. they still move on. <laughs> How did you guys prepare for these roles? How did you prepare to play Priest? Because, again, you're stepping into the shoes of the iconic uh, in the late Ron O'Neill, but uh, how did you prepare for that? Um, I mainly just tried to uh, find a balance between somebody that I was afraid of but also wanted to be very cool with. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's who Priest is. He's like a likable guy. You look at him, like even people say, he's R&B, whatever, and then he socks you in the face. And, like, and I think that's what makes him so scary is because he's so unassuming. You don't think he's, you know, capable of all of these things. But, um, yeah, so that was one thing. I think the stillness with him I really tried to work on because uh, I'm very fidgety and I move a lot. So and he's very, like, laid back. He's, he's kind of like a shark in a way. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it. And the accent, I, I don't know what your accent was. <laughs> and the look, I mean, you totally, I mean, you changed, you, you know, everybody's yeah. gonna be trying to rock that this summer. Yes, right? I'm waiting for the Halloween. <laughs> I hope we get some little kids. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with the K. That is sick. Yes, it ain't that easy, man. <laughs> now this film was shot, uh, I believe, in a very short amount of time. I think you said it was shot within like 36 days. So how did you guys as actors adjust to that? really short period of time. It's warrior we mode. We, didn't, yeah. we, we never Ooh. got to adjust, actually. We're still tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah, warrior mode. Though. Yeah, it was just one of those things where we realized what we was doing. And yeah. we realized that it, we had no choice but to get it right. But it felt good in the meantime. You know, it was a lot of fun, but it was a lot of pep talks. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was a let's lot go, of, let's get out here. We it was a lot of soda. It was well, a lot of coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, yeah, yeah. Pros versus Joes. That's when this is when you show you're a professional. Yeah. yeah. Schedules like this, jobs like this. Yeah. I loved how director X you weaved uh, again some of the original elements from the 1972 film, uh, and particularly some of the music. There were some elements from mm. Curtis Mayfield that I thought was just amazing. So, what was that like? And also, uh, this film is being produced by Future, who we know is this music icon, mm. now he's stepping into the film arena and was not only the curator of the soundtrack, but the producer as well. So what was it like working with him? I mean, Future was great. He really brought uh, a musicality to it. He brought 
um, to a, a whole team that helped us sort out not just his music but the other music from other artists that were uh, in the soundtrack. And you know, there's the the No Shame song and video, which is out right now. These boys hey. are in the joint. Um, <laughs> really became the theme. Really kind of encapsulates what this new Superfly is all about. And we musically we we tie it all the way in. And then of course Curtis Mayfield. We had it felt like we needed to give an homage. So we have have two moments of the original soundtrack, uh, and they just fit. And it's just when you listen to that music, the musicality, the, the levels to which they were operating is so high. You know, you're talking about a soundtrack or just an album, one of the greatest albums ever made. Yeah. Right. So we yeah. didn't we didn't go into it trying to, you know, oh we need a f new Freddy's Dead and we need a new Superfly and we need a new. We didn't we, we we let the soundtrack be what it was, but we took the philosophy of what Curtis brought to the original film, being a singular artistic vision who was commenting on the story itself, and that's what we brought Future in the Do to be. Uh, this to serve the same role, so we capture the essence of what Curtis was doing without it being some competition with something you honestly can't compete with. Yeah. I asked you this question last night, and I'll ask this of, of everyone here. Yeah. What do you think is a takeaway message of this film? Uh, there were so many elements, so many things that I, I took away from it, but just wanted to know personally, what do you guys take away, or what do you think is a takeaway message for the film? I think it's just we did this one for the city, you know what I mean? That's how I feel. I really honestly feel like um, we could have been three young black guys really who dropped the ball, you know, but honestly I think we we not only stepped the remake up, because that's hard to do at times, you know what I mean? People can miss the mark with that, but we also handled it in such a black excellent way that, you know, we, we did a beautiful film in a short amount of time. And it, I, it really didn't dawn on me until we, we had an interview in, um, in New York, and X was saying, like, what seemed to be the thing that might have been our downfall was really the best piece of equipment we could have, and that was just being able to work under pressure, you know what I mean? And he killed it, man. He, he worked under pressure crazy, and we came out with a beautiful, beautiful film, you know? So to everybody out there, you can do it. You can do it with their other hand so they can see the. We, we did it. Yes, so they can see it. Yeah, they do it with the other hand. Ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah. You're frozen. You're unfrozen. <laughs> for you, Trevor, what do you think is the, the takeaway message? Uh, for me, the takeaway is unity amongst black men. I think, uh, you know, oftentimes it's hard for us to love each other just because the way society has always taught us we got to. There's only so few that can get in, so we always want to be the one to get in. And we, you know, but I think this film really promotes uh, unity amongst us, even our relationship, the love um, and the loyalty that we share, I think is a message that a lot of people need to hear, especially in today's uh, society right now. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, the responsibility was always to entertainment. We didn't want to make, we didn't go into it with a, a message that we're trying to hit people over the head with and they come away with a deep, profound understanding of, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, got, we got bad guys who are all white, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> we, got, we got a gang of guys, like, we're, we just want to entertain, have a good time, you know, you laugh and you get scared and you get surprised and all those different elements. And uh, that was really, that's the responsibility to entertain. I know for us it's a lot of, uh, so what's the message for the community? <laughs> <laughs> and um, we don't ask that. We don't ask Fast and Furious what, so what right. is the commentary on yeah. the world state of the, the <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I right. remember was the Jack Do cut. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, what? You know? Yeah, we, explosions. <laughs> right. <laughs> Perfect answer. Yeah, yeah. Well, explosions. guys, I, I so appreciate you stopping here by the Upfront Studios. Thank you, much Robert. success blast, to you guys. Thank, Thank you so you. much for stopping by. Uh, this film, I think, is, again, going to be one of the most talked about uh, stories of the summer. You Thank have you. a I masterpiece so. here. Amazing. Thank, Thank you. Thanks a lot. Congrats. It'll be in theaters this weekend. We're talking to the cast of Superfly, Trevor Jackson, Jason Mitchell, and, of course, the great director, X. And again, Superfly will be in theaters this weekend. You think it's
watching CAU-TV.